How's it going, YouTube? This will be my first video of my new stunt bike. Only just bought it. I've about half an hour of stunt riding experience, and it's uh, it's a lot more difficult than I thought it'd be, to be honest. Um, it really is like this. It's like I can scrape a dirt bike, I can wheelie a dirt bike pretty handy. Um, and I've had all ones or sixes, KTM 1190s, and I can wheelie them, I can go through the gears, but I'm always chasing them out. But this is completely different, like the, the gearing makes such a massive difference, like it, it's so sharp. Every little throttle input is just like straight away, you know, it's, it, it really is like my appreciation for uh, stunt, stunt riders has, has gone up. Um, but yeah, I just bought this. I bought it about two days ago. And actually, I bought it exactly two days ago. Um, it was It's already been built like this. It hasn't been used as a stunt bike, apparently. Um, but like all the, the frames just been freshly powder coated and the wheels and stuff. So it's a 2003 Ninja 636. Um, with a, so it's BH1, but it has a CH1, which I think is the next gen. Uh, see, uh, CH1 rear swing arm and wheels. I think that's it. But then obviously it has the, the trick bit, so it has the 300 mil rear sprocket, uh, rear, rear disc, um, three caliper mountain bracket with the Nissan calipers. I don't know what they're after, probably, uh, I don't know if they look like blade calipers or something. Um, it has a 65 tooth rear sprocket, which is just ridiculous if I have to, if I'm honest. Um, I think I might drop it down to a 55 or something because like you, you literally get about 70 mile an hour of it and that's pinned and it's ridiculously loud if you look at this exhaust. Like it, it might as well just be a straight uh, pipe, it's, it's a bit ridiculous but it is what it is uh, the tank has been made in the uk by some guy i can't remember the guy's name and um, but it's custom made it's not just hammered down i think it's been cut and another piece has been added onto it uh, you have the engine cages the steel sub cage scrape bar uh, with a titanium plate on it um what else uh, the radiator braces uh, it only has one fan i'm in ireland so it doesn't get that hot and it's on all the time so it has a in ignition bypass which is wired right here so there's no key to start it or anything so you just flick that on and the fan is constantly on i don't know if you can hear it, but it is and then you just you just hit it on there so uh yeah it's pretty trick i have to say um not the best if i want to go get some milk but it is what it is i think you just check and make sure that gate is locked which it probably is came here yesterday i tried giving my thumbs up and nothing sound um but yeah, um, one thing I did change on it, the bars, the, the way the, uh, the clutch and the brake is mounted. So it was, so the first of all I changed the position of the bars, they were straight across. And it was just a bit too wide I thought. So I just wanted to bring them a bit more forward. Like I'm tall enough, I'm just about six foot. So I just wanted to bring them a little bit more forward because it was a bit cramped. Um, and I swapped the, I know a lot of people, I know it's very rare to see this, but I actually swapped the clutch around for the brake. Um, I found like I used to do a lot of mountain biking, so I just found when I, I just couldn't get used to using the clutch with my middle, I had to brake with my middle finger. So I just find that this might be a little bit easier. Plus, I was getting really bad arm pump yesterday when I was trying to do donuts and stuff or drifts, whatever you want to call them, uh, using this finger. So I decided just to swap them around and see how I'd get on today. So I literally I just came down here two minutes ago, just done two donuts or drifts, whatever you want to call them, was attempted. Um, so yeah, and I think that's pretty much it. I just swapped them around to see how I get it. I don't know if I'm going to keep them this way or what. Oh, and it has the, the, the seat cut out as well and this shit on the tank. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So that is my new uh, stunt bike. It's, um, I like it now, I have to say. It's it's different. So um, yeah. These look like they're coming loose, which they are, but it's no big deal. I, I also actually, I, I got a fairing stay with it, and I got the fairings. The fairing has been cut and everything, um, and they also have holes for this sub uh, for the the cage, but they're green, so I need to just paint them up white, and uh, I think we're pretty much good to go. Oh, and the top triple clamp um, is aftermarket as well. So yeah, I think that's it, Solar. Well, um. We'll do, I can only do about half an hour at a time or an hour and I'm absolutely wrecked. So I come out in the evenings and it's a little bit cooler because I'm ginger and I don't do well in the heat anyways. 
So, uh, oh, and it, yeah, so it has the long oil screw as well, which is really handy, but I'm yet to use it properly. <laughs> but apparently it's really handy. And then with these 636s, you're meant to do a thing called a fresh air mod, which is you um, block up the air box, breather pipe. Well, you don't block it up, you just move it up here and you do a few things. I think um, Brian636 uh, YouTube channel has a, a really good demonstration on how to do that. So um, yeah, he'd be the man to ask, who is this? I don't know who this is, but we're gonna... It's a dead end road, there shouldn't be anyone coming down here. Funny enough, I actually knew who that was. It was um, I used to work in a bike shop a couple of years ago. He, he was one of the customers um, that I sold. I sold loads of exhaust to him. Exhaust systems, he has MT10s, two Onos, some interesting bikes, but um, yeah, and I just realized I forgot my water, so I'm gonna fly home real quick, grab my water. <laughs> just left, I don't know what happened there, but I think some sort of dodgy deal, but it is what it is. Alright, let's try to do a few things. So, as I said, I, swap, I um, switched around the clutch for the brake, so the first time trying it out. Let's see how we get on. Oh, oh, before we, uh, I don't know if you can hear me, hopefully you can, but I haven't got a mic or anything, but before, I, I can't do stand-up wheelies, I'm still learning.
Actually, one more thing about stunting that I never realised is how physical it is. Uh, maybe it's just me being a little bitch, but my arms, like, the arm pump is real. Uh, I haven't been on those bikes in about a year, probably more, actually. But, uh, yeah, bam. Gotta get physical. Might try a bit of drifting, hey. Bitch slabbing. Oh, oh, oh. 